Hallelujah. I am back. I am back. Yes, I am. Hallelujah. So the, um, we left off. We left off with um, Proverbs 24. Uh, verse 1, I read it in two versions for you, um, which said, don't be jealous of crooks or want to be their friends. And the uh, good news version says, uh, don't let envious, don't be envious of evil people and don't even try to make friends with them. Okay. Don't, like I, I said before, God called these kind of people evil. They, they mark is the agent of the enemy. Okay, he placed them in your life to delay you. So they are evil. Okay, they're evil. So uh, the word tells us, don't even be friends with them. This is why I'm going to keep saying that. Ask the Holy Spirit right now, who you hanging with that's not supposed to be in your life. Okay, okay. So I have, um, I, 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 I put the note here. I said, you will come across. That's, you will come across that spirit, the mocking spirit in people. But all you do, all you have to do, okay? All you have to do, just know this, okay? Proverbs 26, verse 4 and 5. It says, don't answer a fool according to his foolishness. Or, will, or you will be just like him. Answer a fool according to his foolishness, or he will... Or he will think himself to be wise. That's in the international standard version. Don't answer a fool according to his foolishness. When you come against uh, across people like this, if you already hanging with people like this, who's mocking you, who's pulling you down, who's who's telling you God didn't tell you to do this. So I mean, I'm telling you, if you are already friends with people like that, or you come across people like that, where that spirit is at work, okay? Let me tell you this. Walk away. Because if you are arguing with them, the more you trying to prove yourself, the more you trying to argue, the more, the more they're going to go on and on and on and on with their foolishness. And then the more you go, they go on and on, if you are not strong in God, if you, your faith is not strong, you're going to get confused. You're going to get convinced about the foolishness they're feeding your mind. And that's the enemy working through them. Walk away. Don't be, don't be afraid to walk away. Jesus did it all the time. If, when, you, when you read the word, read the word. He, he walks away. He, sometimes he don't even answer them. You know, oh, I love this. I love this um, part. Uh, um, when, when, when they brought up the woman who committed adultery, and they, 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 they trying to trap the Lord. He didn't even talk to them. He didn't even answer them. You know, the one thing he got up and said is, hey, "Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. Go ahead and stone him if you, if you didn't, if you never sinned." Because the only person that was qualified to stone that woman was Jesus. Okay, so therefore, sometimes this just don't even answer them. You know, you just walk away. You don't, you don't even bother with them. So you do the same thing. Don't be arguing with fools because you know what the things they're saying, the 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 the, the enemies using them to get to provoke you to anger to say things to say things. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. He's doing that to provoke you to say things. And you know that what the enemy does? The enemy, you know, the word calls him, he is, he is a, 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 he's the accuser of the brethren, right? He accuses us all the time. That's in the book of, of Revelation. He accuses us all the time. Day and night, he go to God. Go in day and night and he say, oh, do you see what so and so is doing? Do you see what so and so is doing? Don't answer the fools. Don't waste your time arguing with fools. When they're mocking, go, you know, I know it's upsetting with the same thing. Who the flesh wants to take over and say one thing to them, you know. But you know what? Walk away. Walk away. Because you know what? Throughout the work. So throughout our walk with the Lord, we're going to meet people like that. 
The enemy is not just going to give up like that and let you have your way. He's constantly going to put people like that in your path with that kind of spirit just to delay you. Just to delay you, okay? So do not pay attention to that. Don't even bother answering them, okay? That's why we just read in Proverbs 26, verse 4 and 5, okay? Um, I have I have a couple more scripture, okay? Romans 8, verse uh, 36, 37. It is, as it is written, for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who love us. In other words, let me, let me kind of summarize this. In other words, we are going to, 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 to face death all day long. We are going to face people like that through our, throughout our walk with the Lord. We are going to come across Markers, we're going to come across all those hypocrites, Pharisees, Sadducees. We're going to come across them. But you know what Apostle Paul advice is? He said, you know what? We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. So just know this. We're going to come across people like that. Okay? We're going to cross them. Okay? Because... That's the that's that's the way it is. Like I, I just said, Satan is not going to just sit back and let you just take a stroll to heaven. No, he's not gonna let you take a stroll until you made it home to God. Okay, so he's gonna throw everything he can at you. Okay, he's going to throw everything. So now what you need to do is know who you are in the Lord. Know that you are more than a conqueror, no matter what. All right? So one more scripture. It says, don't, uh, Romans 12 verse 2, it says, don't copy the behavior and custom of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. In other words, do not conform yourself as this world be, new, be renewing, okay? Let God renew your mind. Let God transform you. Let God change your heart. And then I'm telling you, if you let him do that, you're going to become more and more and more like him. Okay? Okay, so... Do not, and then, then you will learn, you will learn what is the will of God for your life. And God's will is good, it's perfect to him, okay? It's pleasing to him. So that's why you are more than a conqueror. If you can ask the Lord to help you, to, to don't even answer those markers, don't even answer, don't hang with these people, don't hang with what they're doing, don't hang with them, don't be friends with them, I'm telling you, you will conquer, you will conquer, and moving forward with the Lord, because he's going to change you, he's going to train you, he's going to teach you how to deal with these kind of spirits, okay, I come across something while I was, you know, putting this together, um, I thought that was interesting, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go down the list. It, it, it says this ten subtle signs someone is being passive aggressive towards you, meaning they're mocking, you know, being mocking, you know, they 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 mocking you. I mean, because some people when they're doing it, they're very subtle. You don't even know they're doing it, and 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 God will give you the discerning to see it. He will give you the discernment to see it. And then you still ignore it because you want to stay friend with that person. You want to this, you want to that. No. Okay, you've got to show you what they're up to. Walk away. Walk away. And then I know it might be hard, especially for you teenagers. It might be hard to do. But you know what? God is able to help you to walk away. Because if you don't walk away, like I said before, you just cannot afford it. You can't afford it. 
Okay, so 10, 10, 10 uh, subtle ways that people will mock you, you know, your friends. And I'm sure these things I'm going to say, if you're friends with people like that or seeing things like that, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. It says that they continuously make you feel confused because that's what they're going to do. When you're telling them, oh, God wants me to do this. Oh, God, they, they're trying to confuse you. They're like, oh, no, that's not God. They're trying to tell you like Satan did to Eve in the garden. Oh, has God say? You see what I'm saying? So they're going to, number thing, they, number one thing they're going to do is try to confuse you. They're trying to make you feel like, no, you did not hear from God. Okay? And... And they, they've been verbally hostile, meaning unfriendly towards you. Do you haven't you ever meet people where it's like you do nothing to them, but yet they're so hostile towards you. <laughs> they they just don't like you. They just and then you did nothing to them, you know. Don't feel bad about that, by the way. It's what's in you, the the the, the spirit that's in them hostile to. The, the spirit that's in them hostile to the spirit that's in you, okay? So they hostile to with the Lord, not you. So don't take it personal. If anybody is so unfriendly, you just don't understand it. You're trying so hard. You're trying, you know, to try to please them. But yet they hostile. You just don't know why. Don't pay them no mind, okay? And I'm sure you come out there like your ideas are constantly being criticized. I'm sure you know people like that. They criticize all the time. These are the signs also you seeing in people who are dealing with the spirit of pride, okay? I mean, spirit of pride is a huge one, okay? It's huge. That's our principalities. And then I'm telling you, it's big and it has many things functioning, many other spirit functioning under that spirit, okay? Okay? Um, well, and the number four, it says, you've been mocked and you know it. And sometimes they are going to mock you and you know it. God opened your understanding enough to know it, but yet you still hang around them. You still hang around them. It's like there's something about them that's keeping them, that keeping you hanging with them is that spirit, okay? Walk away. Walk away. Ask God for strength to walk away. Um, the person disrespect your wishes and exert their dominance. They just want to dominate you. They just want to manipulate you. They just want to take over. You know, they just don't respect you. And at the same time, they're controlling you in other words. I'm sure you sing people like that. You, 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 perhaps you friends with people like that. You see what I'm saying? And, and I'm telling you, perhaps, you know, that person is in your family member, is in your, your relatives, you name it. You know, um, a lot of times it's not even going to be outsiders. Okay. So be careful. Just as the Lord, as the Lord. Um, they keep denying their uh, their adverse feelings. You know, there are people who seem that the hand of God is in you, but yet they don't want to admit that to you, but yet they're making you this low. They're bringing you down, okay? They're making you feel like, no, you're not called of God. No, oh, look how you talk. Look this, look what you do. Oh, man, you, you used to do this, you used to do that, that. I mean, they're judging you by your past. They they refuse to see that you children when they can see it. They are not going to admit it. But their job, that spirit's job is to keep you down so that your future in the Lord can be aborted. Don't give that a chance, okay? The person is still not happy after you've come to a resolution, okay? Sometimes when you stand up to them, I, I know what you're doing. You, you, you're comforting the, that spirit. They, I'm telling you, they, 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 they give you this silent treatment. They, they're not happy with you. They, oh my God. I mean, I, you know what I'm talking about, okay? And then as a result of you standing up, uh, you know, they become resistant, hostile, okay? More hostility if they were doing it, <laughs> okay? All right, so here's another one. He says, they try to pass off hostility as humor. You know people like that. They're trying to, like, they're making fun of you, but yet they make, they're doing it in a way where, 
I guess they're hoping you will catch up. You will not notice. They, they, they're laughing about it. They, 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 they're making joke about it. You know what I'm saying? They're making it in a way where you, you know, you will not just pay them no mind. But yet what they're doing, it's mocking you. It's, it's you know, degrading your God. Okay? And then um, one last one, it says, simply put, uh, simply put, they won't talk to you. You know, simply just say it this way. They won't talk to you. And some of them just won't bother talking to you. Okay? That's even better. But you know what? Some people can't can handle it. They feel like, oh, you know, they want to be friends with that person so much that when that person don't talk to them, it's a problem. You see what I'm saying? So now start asking the Lord who you have in your life that he's, trying, he's talking to you right now and tell you you need to stay away. Okay? So, having said that, we are going to do some decrees, okay? We're going to decree the word of God, and then we're going to pray, okay? And um, the Lord, all I can tell you is that God loves you. If you have been asking the Lord to help you grow in faith, to help you to get to know him, that you want an intimate relationship with him. Let me tell you this, God, he does not want to share you with anybody. He's not going to share you with no one, okay? That's number one thing, keep that in mind. God is not going to share you. And if you've been asking him to help you in this kind of thing that you want to grow, you, you, you wanna serve them, you wanna be all about him, and the first thing God's going to do is trying to, he's going to show you the things in your life that you need to get rid of. The things in your life that you need uh, to shape up in. Things in your life that he wants you to, to, to seek him to, 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 to get rid of them. He's going to do that. So I don't know what you've been asking the Lord. I don't know why he wakes me up this morning and tell me to, to, to talk about this. I don't know. But all I know that he's talking to you. All I know, he's talking to you. And I'm saying it again. He's talking to you. And I pray that you listen. Ask the Holy Spirit who, who is in your life right now. That he does not want you to be bothered with. Who's in your who you friend with now that's been mocking the Lord, that's been mocking the work of God, that's been making fun of the work of God, of you, and you know, that's been putting you down, that's been making you confused. Ask him. And when God revealed that person to you or persons, guess what? Ask him the courage to walk away you don't have to tell them anything ask god to give you a repelling spirit meaning that you know what they're just gonna not gonna be better with you <laughs> i'm telling you you're gonna repel them i'm telling you you're gonna repel them the spirit of the lord gonna repel them Okay, so ask him. That's if you really want what you asking the lord if you really want that this is nothing to do I'm willing to cut off anyone the Lord tell me to cut off in my life. That's me. That's just me. Okay? Because think about it this way. When you absent of this body, that means when you die, you're going to stand in the presence of the Lord. And then, guess what? God, you the one who's going to give God accounts for yourself. Not that person. Nobody else. You. You. So therefore, if nobody can help me when I stand in the presence of God, so now when he tells me to do something, when he tells me to cut off somebody, when he tells me not to be bad with something, I better do it. Because my friendship with that person will co can cost me my life for eternity. I don't think so. You see what I'm saying? But that's me. That's just me. That's that's how I am. Okay? That's how I am. I'm friend with you until the Lord tells me not to. That's me. Okay? Because me, I noticed something about me. 
God put people in my life for a season and a reason. So I'm not type of person I said that before. I don't have friends and I'm good with that. Oh, I love it. I love the fact I don't have friends. But I'll talk to anybody. I'll talk to anybody. I'll help you when the Lord put in my heart to help you. But I'm not, I don't have friends. He don't give me friends. He don't let me get close to people. He don't let me get close to friends. Because that person is in my life for a season and a reason. Because you know what? Sometimes when a person comes into our life, we, we tend to attach to that person. And then when we attach to that person, God is trying to say, okay, I need you to move on. And then you can't move on. You tagging, that person is tagging along with you with whatever the Lord is trying to do with you. Guess what? We have that example in, in, um, in the book of Genesis when he called Abraham. He tell Abraham to leave his country. You know what Abraham did? He, 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 he took his nephew with him. God didn't tell him to take his nephew. But he took his nephew with him. God couldn't bless him while his nephew was around. Now there was strife for every time. There was things going on. I'm telling you, not until, not until he separated himself with his nephew, Lot, that's when God came and gave him the promise and make a covenant with him and start blessing the man. Because think about this. Sometimes there are going to be people in your life. You tag, that tag along with, with you. You keep pulling them after you. Everywhere you go, they're there. Whatever God is doing with you, saying to you, you, you blah, blah in it to them. And then guess what? That person might be a lot in your life. And then until you separate yourself with that person, God cannot bless you. He cannot do what he wants to do with you. But now you need discernment. You need to say, God, do I have any lot in my life? Do I have a lot can be your friends, can be, can be any relatives, can be whoever. Okay? A lot. So the enemy can put a lot in your life. And then guess what? And this law is there to stop you to get God's blessing. He's there to stop you to go forward in the Lord. He's there to, I mean, when he's there, there is stripes going on. There is all kind of things going on. All kind of spirit flying around. Because that's his assignment by the enemy to delay you, to stop you. I'm telling you, not until... Abraham have enough sense to say, no, this cannot go on like this and separate himself from Lot. That's when God say, okay, now I'm ready. Because he never told him to take Lot along with him. So now, if you have any Lot in your life that God did not tell you to tag, to tag along with you, to bring with you, to keep blah, blah with. I'm telling you, you need to get rid of that law. And then now you will start to see the hand of God upon your life. You will start to see the things that he's been telling you. Okay? So I don't know who God is talking to. I'm sure he's talking to you. And if he's talking to you, you need to obey. You need to obey. Okay? So having said that, let's, let's, let's do some decree. I already tell you. I already tell you this. That... Uh, when we decree in the word of God, that not only his word cannot go back to him void, his angels, they respond to the word of God. So that means when you decree the word, the angels, you put the angels at work, they go in and do what they need to do on your behalf. Excuse me. And, I, I, and, and, uh, and God is, is watching over his word to perform his word okay so that's why i like to decree the word of god that's why i'm having you decreeing the word of god and so that um god can start moving in your life so that your life can start changing so that you can start seeing things happening in your life so that you can see your life turning around your situation turning around this is why we decree in the word of god okay so we're gonna decree the word of God. So here's what I would like to do. I would like to give someone who has not accepted the Lord as their personal savior yet a chance before I do I, I decree this. Okay. So that you can be a part of it. 
Why all these things I've been saying, I've been talking to the children of God, those who accepted the Lord as their as their Savior in Lord. Okay, in, in, in John, the first chapter, verse 12, it says to all those who receive him, he gave them the right to become children of God. Okay, so these are the people I was talking to. So now I want I, I, I want to talk to you for a minute. Okay, let me just take a position. Let's talk for a minute. Are you tired of the way you're living? Are you tired of what's going on around you? Okay, have you been mocked? Have you been, I mean, I, 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 are you just tired? Do you feel like the world is just crumble upon you? I mean, you just feel you carrying a burn? Let me tell you, you know who can help you? Jesus. Only Jesus can help you. Only Jesus can lift up that burden of, of your back. Only Jesus can break that yoke in upon your neck. Only Jesus. He's the only one who can help you. He's the only way to, to, to heaven. There is no other way, no matter what your friends been telling you, no matter what uh, the world been telling you, there is no other way to get to, to, to God but Jesus. There's no other way to get to heaven but through him, okay? You know, we all sinners and we fall short in the glory of God every day. You know what that means? That we cannot keep up with the standard of God. Okay, we cannot keep up. God is holy. He's a righteous God. And in the things that he wants us to do, we cannot keep up with them. Because we can't help it but to sin. Okay, the heart is deceitful. It says that in, in, in Jeremiah 17 verse 9. Our heart is deceitful beyond understanding. Okay, above all things. So therefore, we cannot help it but to sin. We sinners. And, and, and we cannot keep up with the way God wants things done, okay? But you know what? We're not perfect. But he's saying, if you accept the sacrifice that my son did, God will forgive you. He will forgive your sins. And not only that, you will have eternal life. It's that simple. So God is knocking. He's calling you. So would you receive him? Would you let him come in and change your heart and change your life? Those things I was talking about, I mean, you can be a part of them too. Because if you're already in the world, you get used to the way the world does things. You get used, I mean, you know, they mock people anyway. That's what they do for a living. Okay, but when you are children of God, you cannot accept that. You should not accept that because you are a new creation. Okay, so therefore, if you're ready to let God take over, to, to change your life. All you have to do is repeat after me. I'm going to pray a, a simple prayer. You're going to repeat it. The reason why I say I asked for you to repeat because in Romans 10, 9, and 10, it says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead in the last, in the third day, he said you will uh, be saved. But you must believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Okay? So, therefore, that's why I want you to repeat. You're going to confess with your mouth. And then you're going to believe in your heart that Jesus came. He died for your sins. He took the punishment that you deserve. And then his father raised him up again on the third day. If you can believe that, if you accept that sacrifice... You born again, you will become a child of God because you received him. All right. So having said that, let's, let's pray. Okay. Say, Jesus, thank you for all that you've done for me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for taking the punishment, uh, my punishment. I repent of everything I've ever done. Please forgive me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Change my heart. Make me a new person. Jesus, I accept your sacrifice. And I'm asking you to be my Lord and my Savior. Please change me. In the name of Jesus. 
Amen and amen. If you pray this prayer, if you just pray this prayer, you are born again. Let me be the first one to congratulate you. Welcome to the child of, I mean, welcome to the family of God. You are now a child of God. Praise God. Praise God for you. I'm telling you, your, your life will never be the same again. I'm telling you, you're going to start testing the Lord and you're going to see how good it is. And then you're going to start saying, man, I can't believe I took so long. I mean, I can testify to this. I can testify because when I accept the Lord, I start saying, man, why did I wait so long? Because I started to see the goodness of God. I started to get to know him. Oh man, it's awesome. God is awesome. I promise you you see because he's gonna start revealing himself to you congratulations hallelujah so now we're gonna pray we're gonna decree some word we're gonna make the decree and then uh, i'm gonna pray and and release you with a blessing all right hallelujah so we let's decree let's decree some word so if you have anyone anyone in your life right now like i said you 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 notice what I'm telling you those things you start noticing you know you start um coming back to you what's been happening and then you they even know so now that's the Holy Spirit revealing those things to you okay so now you need the courage you need uh, uh, um to be strong and you you want the courage um for the Lord to to help you to walk away if it's revealing uh, those kind of things to you who should you hang with Who's your friends? Who's not? So now um, you need to do something about it. Okay? So don't delay when he's showing you those things. Okay? So the first uh, um, um, scripture we're going we're gonna to decree is it's Proverbs 28 verse 1. It says, The wicked flee, though no one pursue, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. So when I'm decreeing Proverbs 28, one, I say it like this. I decree and declare that I am as bold as a lion in the name of Jesus. Decree that. Be bold because when the Lord tells you, when he tells you, when he show you, you need boldness to walk away. You need boldness. I'm telling you. So now start decreeing this. Start decreeing the word of God. And then I'm telling you, the more you say it, the more you're going to be confident. And you'll be able to walk away when the Lord starts showing you whom to walk away from. Okay? So start decreeing. I'm as bold as a lion in the name of Jesus. Okay? I have a second Timothy 1 7. It says, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self control. God did not give you spirit of fear. Okay. When when these people are mocking you, they're intimidating you, they're manipulating you, they're making fun of you. You 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 have such fear to even say something. God did not give you that kind of spirit. But the spirit he gives you, it's power, love, and self-control. So start decreeing that. I decree and declare that I have the power of God in me. I have his love in me. And I have self-control in the name of Jesus. Okay? So start doing that. Okay? Another one. Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. So start decreeing that in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Okay, you can do it. I'm telling you, when he tells you, when he show you who you need to walk away from, you can do it because Jesus is in you and you can do all things through him. Okay, another one. Uh, Joshua 1 9 it says be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go decree that okay you need God's courage you need to be strong you need to be uh, 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 courageous when to walk away I'm telling you it's not gonna be easy but it can be done you can do it okay it can be done to walk away, yes, there's gonna they're gonna talk you, take you all that, blah blah blah, this this this. Oh well, whatever, you know. Talk to their hand, like we'll be saying. Talk to their hand and keep on walking because if the Lord tells you, I'm telling you, danger is ahead. 
dangers ahead. If he's talking to you right now, that's because I'm telling you, you you heading in the wrong way. That's why he's giving you the warning. He's telling you this, okay? So now, if he's showing you, if he's not showing you what I'm talking, you you haven't have an idea yet. I'm telling you, as the Holy Spirit is gonna start revealing that to you. So now you need to be strong. You need to be courageous. So decree that. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I am strong, I am courageous, because the Lord my God is with me. I'm not afraid, okay? I am not afraid what men can do to me. I am not afraid what this friend's going to say to me, because the Lord my God is with me wherever I go. You know, just let the Holy Spirit lead you. Okay, and he's going to show you how to do this. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. And I'm telling you, you're going to find the, the courage to do what he tells you to do. Okay, so now we're going to decree one more. Okay, Isaiah 40 verse 31. It says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So don't worry, do not worry, you've been waiting on the Lord, you've been asking the Lord, oh Lord, what do I need to do, I want to be close to you, I want an intimate relationship with you, oh Lord, I need you to use me, those kind of things, so now you've been waiting for the answer, now he's telling you the answer, maybe he's asking you to cut off some people in your life, maybe he's asking you to stop hanging with the wrong crowd, he's asking you to, to stop hanging, uh, to stop arguing and Stop getting involved in, in, in foolishness things. Maybe he's asking you to do that. So if he's asking you that, you've been, you've been waiting. And now he's saying he's going to renew your strength. He's going to give you wings to mount up like eagle. You've seen an eagle fly, right? And then he said he's going to, uh, you're going to run and you're not going to get weary. And you're going to walk and you will not faint. Start decreeing that. Decree that I decree and declare that I have wings to mount up like ego, that I shall run and not walk. I shall run, sorry, I shall run and not be weary, and I shall walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus, you know, these things, start decreeing them, and I'm telling you, and you will see the angels of God is at work, is according to the word of God. God is watching his word so that he can perform his word, and then his word cannot go back void to him because he's sworn on that. That's Isaiah 45, 45 verse 23. God sworn on himself that when he speak something he cannot come back to him so when you speak the word of god it's not gonna go to him and and he has to do what what it says to do so now these things you decree those are the things that's gonna happen in your life okay but you must believe them separate yourself the Lord, if the Lord tells you to separate yourself, do that. Separate yourself because at the end, guess what? You don't want to go to stand alone before the Lord. Okay? So having said that, praise the Lord. So we're going to pray. Let's just pray. And then after that, we um, I decree a blessing upon you. I, I pray that you receive what the Lord was saying to you. I pray that you heard the Spirit of God speaking to you. And I pray that he gives you the courage. He's, he's, he's giving you the courage. He's making you as bold to do what he tells you to do. Hallelujah. We praise the name of the Lord God. We thank you. We bless your name. We glorify you, Father God. We magnify your holy name because you are holy you are a righteous god and you are a faithful god there is no one like you father nobody can compare there is no god like you hallelujah we just worship you we just thank you father god i just want to thank you for those that you have watched this video right now I thank you for them, and I thank you for your word, Father God, for your rhema word, Father God, for a word of due season, Father God, that you may have been talking to them about that, they may have uh, um, hear it, Father God, but yet they, they didn't pay really attention to it, maybe they didn't know you were talking to them, Father God, but today you're making it plain, plain and simple, you're letting them know that you are talking to them, you are confirming for them, Father God, so Father God, I pray pray in the name of Jesus that you will give them the strength that they need that you will make them as bold as a lion in the name of Jesus that you will give them the word father God to say 
Father God, if you asking them to separate themselves in the name of Jesus, they don't have to be rude about it. They don't have to say, well, God, tell me to stay away from you. But Father God, help them to, to, to do this in love in the name of Jesus as you lead them how, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray you will give them clarity of sight. Father God, I pray, I pray, Father God, for 2020 vision and so that they can start seeing what your spirit is showing them. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God, that for opening their ears so that they may hear what your spirit is telling them to do. In the name of Jesus, Father God, for any anyone that that uh, that the enemy father god had put upon the uh, across their path father god to delay them to 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 frustrate them father god in the name of jesus i pray that you will you will rebuke the enemy for their sake in the name of jesus i pray father god you will lead them in the path of righteousness for your name's sake in the name of jesus i pray father god that you will that you will guide them father god and teach them father god in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will give them the spirit of understanding so that they can understand your word, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father God, that you will start a uh, breathe upon them, Father God. Breathe upon them to open their understanding just like you breathe upon your disciple before you left. And then their understanding was open that they were able to understand your word, Father God. I pray that you will breathe upon them in the name of Jesus. Jesus, those that desire, Father God, to have a, 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 a intimate relationship with you, Father God, those that desire to 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 do your will for you to you to use them for them to be a vessel for you to flow in, Father God. I pray, Father God, they will let you do the work in them, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because you will not flow into a dirty vessel, Father God. So I thank you that you are cleansing their heart. You are cleansing the things that in their life that you don't want that will be a, a, a hindrance to them, Father God, a hindrance to their blessing in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that you will remove any locks in their life, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your hand that is upon them. I thank you, Father God, for the blessing that you lay aside for them, Father God. In the name of Jesus, in that they will start reaping that blessing, Father God, as they follow your instruction. In the name of Jesus, give them the courage, Father God. Give them the courage to do what you ask them to do, Father God. Help them not to go to the left or to the right, Father God, but let them to walk in the path that you are leading them. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I thank you for them. I thank you for turning their life around. I thank you for changing their life. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I praise you. I thank you, Father God, for the desire of their hearts. Father God, you the one who put that desire in them. Father God, in that they will see it, they will reap it. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that they will get to know the hope of your calling in their life. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, and I bless your name, Father God. Those, Father God, who's overdue, Father God, people that's in the life that's overdue, scatter them right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus, they may have been there for a season and a reason. Now that the season and reason is over, Father God, I ask that you will scatter those people out of their life, Father God. In the name of Jesus, anyone you did not put in their path, Father God, scatter them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, your son, I thank you, Father God. And I bless your name. I give you glory. I give you honor. Thank you for ministering to your people. And thank you for blessing them. And thank you, Father God, for giving them the desires of their heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, your son, I pray. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. I hope you receive that. I hope that you... I hope that you you accept what the Lord is saying to you and I hope that you're going to take the step okay you take the step to 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 do what he tell you to do because to be obedient to the Lord is to take action okay so you need to take the action the step whatever he tells you to do excuse me that you will do it all right so now 
before I, I pronounce a blessing upon you, I want to remind you that, let me remind you, if this is, is helping you, okay, if this is, is helping you, don't keep it to yourself, share it. If you know anyone who's hanging with the wrong crowd and you know the hand of God is up on them, share this video with them. Okay, because it's good to pass along what the Lord is saying. Okay, what the Lord is doing. Okay, because when God teaches us things, He don't want us to keep it to ourselves. He wants us to help other people with it. So He show it to me. Here I am sharing it with you. So now it's helping you. You you start seeing the hand of God moving. You learning some things. Pass it along. Don't keep it to yourself. And don't forget to to subscribe. And then don't forget to turn on the um, the notification bell, okay, so that every time I upload a video, you will get it, all right? So having said that, let me pronounce a blessing upon you and, and release you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And may the Lord give you his shalom peace. Nothing broken. Nothing lacking. Peace in your home. Peace in your heart. Peace to your soul. Peace in your marriage. Peace in your household. Peace in your job. Peace of God about and what he's going to have you do. Shalom peace. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I thank you that you yourself will bless your people. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So I will talk to you um again okay i don't know what the lord is gonna do next time so hey i'm his servant so he whatever he gave me i will be more than happy to come up here and share it with you so in the meantime keep decreeing those words in the meantime keep seeking him i'm telling you with all your heart ask him who he in your life that he does not want there okay and then ask him the courage to make the move all right hallelujah then you will start seeing his hand at work in your life so i'll talk to you later have a blessed day and god bless you bye bye